Okay, now let's、uh, learn how to use a very simple,、uh, traditional way to type HTML file and create a very basic page. You don't have to have a fancy、uh, editor. Okay, every computer operating system already have the default editor. Uh, like the one I use is uh, uh, Wind uh, Mac. I'm a Mac user. Uh, the window on my uh, uh, here is a text editor, the built-in one. Okay. And the right-hand side here is a browser, obviously, right? So editor, the job is to tag to type the pure text. Or some editor can do some formatting. We call a word processor. Okay, I make a pay or I make a font very large so that、uh, easy to see. Okay, so the basic structure of the、uh, web document is we call a tag. Okay, the most important tag. The root, the top level is HTML. So you need to use uh, 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 less than HTML greater than, okay? Which define the、uh, the start of the tag or the beginning tag, and then we use a forward slash to indicate the end, okay? Okay. So inside it,、uh, there will be a head. Okay, head tag, head part. Okay,、uh, and body part. Okay. Normally, head part we put some meta information, cascading style sheet, or some、uh, script, JavaScript. Okay, the external source of the JavaScript or the embedded JavaScript. Actually, you can put the script、uh, both side, head or body. Okay, but the body is actually、uh, the part will be shown inside the browser. Okay, so here here comes、uh, you can type anything, but we are going to learn the very first command is called a heading. Uh, they, I can remember, have a six different、uh, size of heading.、Uh, the biggest one is H1. Okay, you can type. This is my H1 heading. Don't forget, forget to put the end tag. Okay, which correspond to the beginning. Okay, so beginning, end. Okay. Beginning and pretty easy, right? Kind of structure. Okay, so if you like,、uh, you can you try to use a different heading.、Uh, you can copy paste. Maybe this time use a three, kind of middle size. Okay. Okay, that's a、uh, very very easy. Okay, and then. Uh, when you type something, you want to see the result. Okay, of course you need to save. You need to save in your local. Okay, so let's save the file to our local. Okay, when you are using text, okay, be sure to.、Uh, in my in my case, I already set up a rich text as a plain text. Because now we are studying the HTML tag, we want everything typed is、uh, English,、uh, not necessarily English. We don't want the format. Okay, we don't want the, like a Microsoft Word document that kind of format. We want the extension file is the pure text. Okay, so let me try. I、uh, give a name. I give a uh, uh, extension name. Uh, if we say if, if no extension is provided, they will use a dot txt. Okay, okay. So I you I give the extension name, save. 
okay use this oh in my directory there's already one so I'm going to replace it okay this is my first uh, draft okay now you can use uh, any kind of browser okay now I use a browser I can open open file because now we don't uh, learn we haven't learned how to set up web web server right so we look we open the HTML file from our local system okay so here you can see this is your this is my h1 heading this is my h3 heading okay so now you have a, a very easy uh, comparison between two sides okay so let's keep going learn something okay I think that uh, knowing how to use a paragraph is 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 very good so what is paragraph okay anything you type inside it okay normally it's a it's an article a paragraph maybe have a, a couple uh, few lines even enter okay everything you put into the p paragraph and mp they will consider a paragraph okay and they will automatically uh, uh, change the line according to your window size which means that when you enter the line in between the the these two p and mp uh, they won't take any effect okay so once you do that you save it okay save it i should use the command s hockey and then i need to reload it reload it okay so let me demonstrate the result what does the paragraph means okay so you can see everything you type here uh, from here to here will be considered a paragraph okay okay and let's move on the third things uh, I'm thinking about uh, multimedia so I still can remember how do I assign an image if you want to embed an image you need to assign to it but most image is a binary file okay except for the scalar uh, uh, vector image scalable image okay but let's keep it simple uh, in HTML if you want to embed an image actually you give a uh, image tag and also specify it there remote location okay so now I'm thinking about uh, using another tag okay uh, Google already have some icon okay so if I want to borrow okay kind of borrow this image or use this image of course legally I can click on it How can I see its image icon? Can I see it? No. Mm, maybe I type Google image. Oh, for example, I want to use this icon as my test. Okay. Uh, for some image already on the web you can right click on it you can uh, copy the link okay or maybe see if you can see it's an image okay you you might want to actually uh, be able to copy image address okay copy image address what does that mean if you copy image address actually you have the uh, complete URL okay the internet location of this image okay whatever the length it is you copy it okay and then you can put it into your image tag okay 
and you end the the star image tag, and then you put the end tag. Okay. Okay. Now I'm going to kind of uh, make my uh, phone size smaller. Okay, <laughs> because uh, there's a a lot of information here. Okay. So here is the image tag. Here is the end tag. Okay. Again, I save my file. Okay. I go back to my original test. Okay. Test the image. I need to refresh it. Refresh it uh, by using reload. See. Okay. So now you get the remote side of the image and put it into uh, your home page. Of course, you can adjust the image size. Okay. The original size will be bigger. They Google they resize it at a certain uh, in certain way. That's a subtle control inside the image attribute. Okay, one more uh, very important tag I would like to uh, share with you is why makes what makes the web page a web infrastructure so much powerful. If without the hyperlink linkable ability we can uh, click on something we jump to another side right so this is a hyperlink it's hyperlink feature make web worldwide web connected right information are all connected if uh, uh, referred properly so in HTML uh, what kind of tag uh, is used for specify the hyperlink. Okay. Do you know? Maybe you will guess a link or something. Hmm. Probably you will never uh, think of the right answer. Okay. Unless you look for the information or the buy a book. Okay. To study. Okay. So now I'm going to tell you it's a tag called A. <laughs> What? What is A? A here means anchor. A and C H O R. You know the anchor, the boat. They want to. They don't want to drink. Uh, uh, to be uh, drifting off by the by the ocean wave. They need to put the kind of heavy metal down to the sea belt to kind of hook on the sea belt rock. Okay, so that they can. Uh, they can kind of have a, a fixed point. So in HTML tag, they design an A tag. A tag, yeah, that's right, very simple. Okay, that's for uh, the, that information. Uh, a little bit like an image, you need to specify the reference, the target, which place you want to link to, okay? So here has a very special attribute called uh, href, okay, which means a uh, hypertext reference. And then you need to specify your your link location, okay. Let's assume you want to uh, link our link to our uh, computer science department, okay, the great wonderful. Uh, department uh, to learn computer knowledge and the programming okay so our department web address is triple uh, www.csie.ncnu.edu.tw okay you need to <laughs> specify it correctly okay and now I'm going to use uh, HTTPS which means a uh, secure uh, uh, protocol okay a uh, secure version of HTTP protocol. And then uh, I put some uh, information CSIE and CNU. Okay. And CNU means National Genome University. Uh, and NTAC. Okay. Here you go. Okay, and 
Let's reload my page. Hmm? Nothing happened. Let me see. Let me reload my page again. Oh, here, here you go. So, uh, so this is the A anchor. Okay, we just added right. So let's try our our HTML. Is it valid? Yeah, here we go. We we are brought from our local file, okay, to a remote website, okay. Of course, if you missed typing, maybe you type uh, uh, more than one dot, okay, kind of uh, mistake typo, okay. And when you reload to the original one, and you do the same thing, you click on it, Oh, you got uh, something wrong, okay? This is a normal message we often got, right? If a web uh, page designer didn't check carefully their web content, uh, we call it broken link because uh, this address, www.csie.ncnu, two dot, okay? Okay, there's a no such name, okay, the, uh, they cannot find its IP address, okay. So any small tiny uh, mistaken may cause trouble, okay, in the computer world, okay. We need to get every piece of the information right so that the whole system uh, will be function properly. Okay, in this very short course, I have explained to you uh, how to put the simple heading, paragraph, and the multimedia image, and uh, most importantly, hyperlink. Okay, be sure to try on your very basic editor. If you are a Windows user, okay, the editor will be Notepad or Notepad, Notepad plus plus. Okay. Some people like to download some fancy uh, coders editor like a VS Code, uh, Visual Studio Code. I personally use uh, Atom, A-T-O-M. Some people like Sublime Text Editor. So you can search, uh, download some uh, useful free open source editor. Oh, okay, just let you see uh, if I use uh, Atom, a T O N to open the file. Okay, let me see if I can open the file in the autumn. Mm -hmm. I cannot open that. <laughs> What's going on? Okay, I drag my HTML into my atom. Okay, see, this is the uh, uh, building text editor. And this one is Atom, okay? Atom, they kind of knowing some tag information and auto-detect uh, I'm using HTML. So uh, it has a friendly uh, information. Uh, this is a change color. Oh, when we learn some more information, uh, for example, H2, okay, they will tell us Okay, some hint, okay, or maybe uh, script, okay. The next one we are going to learn, script is a JavaScript code, okay. So you can use this kind of editor uh, so that you uh, uh, make your code or HTML more structuralized, easy, easy to spot on some block uh, relationship in the code, okay. 
that's it uh long enough for you to test on your own okay i'll see you next time bye bye